And welcome to William Patterson University State Volleyball action here today. The finals of the non-public division. Immaculate Heart Academy taking on Roselle Catholic. Should be a good one. Thanks for being with us. I'm Matt Finkel. And the IHA Eagles coming in. The top ranked team in the state with a 44-2 record. Trying to win their seventh straight group title. Take on Roselle Catholic, a formidable opponent. 31 and 13 record and ranks 74th in the state. As the teams clear the court and we get set for action here today. The Roselle Catholic Lions, 16 and four record at home this season, 15 and eight on the road. And this one being played on a neutral site, they are 0 and 1 in such games this season. The last time these two teams squared off in a group final, Roselle upset IHA back in 06. But IHA comes in as the favorites here today. They have won 28 in a row, and they haven't dropped a set in their last 17 matches. It was October 12th, more than a month ago, the last time they dropped a set. And their head coach, Maria Nolan, seeking her seventh straight group title, it would tie her own record which she set while coaching Secaucus from 95 to 01. A prolific coach coaching a prolific team. They've won 101 straight home matches, and they've won 42 straight in-state matches. This one not at home, this one on a neutral site, as I mentioned, but it is an in-state matchup, and they have won 42 in a row. Players to watch on the Eagles, Nia Reed. Reed has 467 kills this season, 97 blocks. She's one of the leaders of this Immaculate Heart team. Also look out for Caitlin Floyd. Floyd leads the state with 1,068 assists. A 44-2 record on the season. IHA has played a lot of games this season. They've played a lot out of state as well. Both of their losses came against teams in the Tennessee tournament that they played in, BIVT -B Gold Bracket Tournament. They've also won the Garden State Challenge Invitational. They won the Bergen County Tournament. Defeated Demarest in the finals in straight sets in that one. And here they are today seeking to win the non-public state tournament. On the other side for Roselle, Look out for Callie Schuerman. She has 269 kills this season. And interestingly enough, when Roselle upset IHA back in 06, Catherine Schuerman, Callie's older sister, led that Lions offense. She now coaches the JV team. And her younger sister, Callie, is the focal point of Roselle's attack here in 2013. The Lions are coming in with confidence. They're upset the previously undefeated Mount St. Dominic in the semis of this tournament on Thursday. A three-set match. They dropped the first one 25-17. Then went on to win the next two 25-20 and 25-22. Jessica Ciandela had five kills in that one. 13 digs, 19 assists, three aces. She did it all. She'll be another one to look out for here today. Just about set to go. A key to this one for Roselle Catholic will have to will be to overcome the size that IHA boasts in the middle. Emma Ray is 6'3, Naya Reed is 6'1. But a lot of energy in the gym here today. It should be a good one. Thanks for being with us at William Patterson University. We'll step aside and when we come back. We'll get this one started to decide the non-public state title in New Jersey. Well, back here at William Patterson University, just about set to get underway. Immaculate Heart Academy taking on Roselle Catholic. Winner will be named the non-public state champion in New Jersey. Now these two teams squared off earlier in the season. IHA defeated Roselle two to nothing in straight sets. A little more on the line here today though.
IHA in their blue jerseys with the white trim and white numerals. Roselle in their green jerseys with the white trim and yellow numerals. And IHA will serve first. It's Powell to get the game started for the Eagles. As the ball rolls onto the court. It's taken care of and we're ready to go. The serve from Powell. Played back by Roselle. Now the set to Reed and the spike is out. And the first point goes to Roselle. Reed has 467 kills on the year. Just missed her 468th right there. Just out of bounds, one nothing Roselle leads. Newton on the serve. The set goes for Reed again, but it's dug out by Newton. And kept in play, but wide. That was Johns who put it out and it evens the score at one apiece. Floyd with the serve. And the set is back blocked and now back over for a set for IHA and Reed with the kill. At six, one and a half, she has such great height. She gives the Eagles a two to one lead and now it's a three to one lead. As Newton has trouble with the serve. Caitlin Floyd continuing to serve for the Eagles. Nice dig by the Eagles, but the point goes to Roselle. And they have a loud cheering section here today. The set back to Reed. It's it over, it's dug out by Roselle. Now the other way, Moserek, and it's blocked back. Point to IHA, and they take a four to two lead. Rally scoring here today, first to 25, earns you a set, you need two sets to win. Johns tries a spike, but it's blocked back. And now it's a five to two IHA lead. And Roselle answers back. Johns on the kill. And IHA had trouble with the dig, five to three. The Eagles lead the Lions. Reed with the set to Kerwin, but a good dig. Keeps it alive for Roselle. And played into the net by Sherman. And point two, IHA. Mentioned IHA on a 28 game winning streak. Reed with the serve and it goes untouched. First ace of the day. And it gives Immaculate Heart Academy a seven to three lead. Reed serving from the left side of the court. Reed goes up, the tap over is dug up. And the spike goes long but they rule interference at the net. And the point goes to Roselle. Birgit serves for Roselle. Reed plays it over. Now the set on the far side to Sherman and it's good. As the block can't be handled. The non-public state title.
Set to Sherman, she plays it over, handled by IHA. Still serving is Gergich. But there's a good kill from it was Q. And it gets the serve back for IHA. It was Kill, a very versatile player, 238 kills on the season, 263 digs as well. The serve comes in and it can't, it's not handled well by the Lions. Another point for IHA, they lead it nine to six. Scheffler is serving for the Eagles. The set. And it's dug out, but not handled at the net. Point goes to Roselle. A nine to seven lead for IHA. And there's a nice kill from the Eagles. Put them into double digits, they lead it 10 to seven. Wait in the back, gonna have to throw it over. And they are able to do just that. The set and the kill for IHA, that's Kristen Kirwin with the kill. And the Eagles have opened up a four point advantage again, 11 to seven. Serve comes in, diving to make and get it over. And over the top, over the wall. And it's good for another IHA point. 12 to seven the score now. That serve goes long. And it breaks the Eagles run. That was Iwis on the serve. Now Sherman back to serve for Roselle. It's a good one, handled by Reed. Set goes up. Try to go over the top again, but it's handled. And the point goes to IHA. A back and forth at the net. But MRA had the winning touch. And it gives IHA a 13 to eight lead. And that one is wide. Uh, now the biggest lead of the day for the Eagles, 14 to eight, a six point lead. Ball blocked back. They'll try again, Sherman with the kill, but it's long. And now a 15 to eight advantage. Eagles seeking their seventh straight group title. Played over. Instead of the set, they go over. And the point goes to Roselle. Stepping under the net was an eagle. And now it's a 15 to 9 advantage for IHA. Newton on the serve. Played upset for Reed. And it's good. Newton tried to dig it out, but the spike was too strong. And it's a 16 to nine lead. Remember first to 25 to earn the set. Serve comes in from Floyd. Played back Sherman and a great dig right there. And it's good enough for a point. A fantastic dig on a hard Sherman spike. And then Roselle was unable to handle it on the other end. 17 to nine, the score. Floyd continuing to serve. Katia gets it over, now Reed. 
And it's good. Not your typical read kill right there. But good enough for a point. And right now, IHA leads. Uh, then undefeated Mount St. Dominic, but came back to win the next two sets and earn their spot here in the finals. Sherman has trouble with the serve, and now it's a 19 to 9 lead for IHA. Floyd on a nice run of serves here for the Eagles. Set goes up to Kachi, it's blocked back. Great diving stop to keep it alive for Roselle. Played back over by Ray. Now Katia. It's one of the longer rallies of the day, but Reed puts an end to it with a big kill. And it's an 11 point lead now for IHA. The score 20 to nine. And Floyd continuing to serve. Newton has trouble with the Floyd serve, and now it's 21 to nine. And IHA well on their way to picking up a one set lead here in this New Jersey non-public state final. Going right back to Newton, and she has trouble again, unable to control the serve. And now it's a 22 to nine lead. We'll see if Floyd attacks Newton one more time. No, this time she goes right. Ball played over. Now Floyd on the set to Reed, and she pokes it over for another kill. A bit of a pattern, Floyd to Reed. And IHA is two points away from claiming the first set. Newton able to handle that serve. A diving stop to get it over there. Set comes to Emma Ray. It's dug out by Roselle. Now Sherman with the kill. And they say that IHA went under the net. Point goes to Roselle and they snap a long run for IHA. Score is 23 to 10. And Roselle will need a run of their own right here to get back into this set, trailing by 13 points. Candela with the serve. Set goes to Morsak, and it's a point for Roselle, 23-11 the score. This is the first of four state final matchups here today. This one non-public. And Reed has trouble with the serve, and it's a good three-point run for the Lions. Twenty-three to tell uh, to twelve. Candela with the serve. Floyd the set for Reed, and it's dug out nicely by Newton. Ball comes back, and that shot is good. Nicely done by Roselle, and they have answered with four straight here to cut the lead to 10, a 23 to 10 lead for IHA opening set. That serve is long, and it will bring up a set point for IHA. Another substitution for the Eagles, and here's set point. Johns. Gets it over and it's not handled by the Eagles. Serve goes back to the Lions as they hold off a set point. Still trailing by 10 here, 24 to 14. Serve from Katya. The set for Reed and it's good. And just like that, IHA takes the first set, 25-14. The teams will switch ends.